All right, so we just, uh, it's 6.30 in Kansas City, Missouri, signed by Amy Saunders. And uh, the neat thing is, um, 12 of us got up for um, Zen Body 60. So, Emmy, so you and I connected, like, I've met before, I've seen you at other programs. Yes. But you and I connected last year, and mm-hmm. um, we chatted about health and wellness, and well, how, how's it gone the last 12 months? Like, what, what's going on for you? Well, I uh, rode in a taxi cab with you from one meeting to LAX and had a very inspiring conversation. Uh, I have changed eating habits, uh, probiotics, exercise routine. I've also run a Spartan race. I know. Okay, that's pretty cool. And that's all in the last 12 months. All in the last 12 months. And and so you changed some physical activity. Do you change Mm -hmm. some dietary habits too? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm eating healthier. I'm actually doing intermittent fasting. Cool. And I didn't think I could do that at first. Yeah. I I think I called you crying one time. That's okay. You know what intermittent (laughs) fasting is? It's not much about, it's a mental, emotional muscle. And what intermittent fasting does actually, it slows down aging. It increases um, the time that could potentially get any kind of cognitive decline. It's set up to 10 years, they're saying, by intermittent fasting. Giving your break your body from digestion also gives your, the bacteria in your stomach, and in particular, acomancia, it lets it clean up the mucus lining. Okay. So you may not know, but a little bit of fasting, even if it's space between meals, allows your system to reset. And they said it's one of the best things you could do for di- digestion is not snack all the time. So 90s, which is all about six small meals, it's, it's kind of out the door. Out the door. It's like MC Hammer Pants or yeah. Vanilla Ice, Ice, yeah. Ice Baby. So, so the new thing, 2019, is actually intermittent fasting. So intermittent fasting, you did some weight training. I did a lot of weight and training. And I saw you do a lot of this thing called Orange. What was the Orange thing you were doing? So I was doing Orange Theory, and I love Orange Theory because the, the routine's different every single day. And okay. I need something that's going to keep my attention captivated. For sure. And who knew I would turn out to be a fantastic rower. Oh, my God. I love to row. Okay. I rode... Uh, 6,000 meters day before yesterday, which wow. was pretty just fun little exercise. Okay. So. Across the Atlantic, or where'd you go? Oh, no. Well, no, on a row machine. <laughs> okay, but machine. yeah, okay, you like can that. visualize okay. that. Okay. Are you sleeping better? Well, how is sleep affecting uh, you? Yeah, I sleep the whole night. I'm not waking up at 2.30 and 3 o'clock in the, in the morning nice. anymore. I probably do it maybe once a quarter now, right? Okay. But I used to do it every single night. Wow, okay. And good sleeping is a sign of a good immune system. Also, it's a sign of healthy aging. Oh, good. Anytime I ask my 80, 85, 90-year-old patients, are you a good sleeper? They all say yes. Very few people make it past 80 if they're a poor sleeper. So mastering sleep. I said sleep is one of my seven pillars of health. Yes. So you're on your way. Like you're going to make it till, you're going to be a centenarian, right? I hope so. I love That's that. That's my intent. Okay. So um, over the last um, over the last 12 months, he does, what's, what's the next 12 months? Like you know, I say set an intention or they say your energy flows where your intention goes. Mm-hmm. What is your intention now for the next 12 months? What's for, that's for 2019. So I've dropped a little over 40 pounds. Oh my God. And Which basically, when you think of 40 pounds, maybe people think about 40 pounds, is, it's a lot. Actually, what I would say, a pound is about three chicken breasts. So you've actually lost 120 chicken breasts off his body. So that's like, And I lost a couple little breasts right here, okay, but that's, that's okay. We'll talk about okay. that later. No, for sure. Okay, so, so for 2019, until the end of the year, what would you, what's your, what kind of intention are you going to set? Like, what do you want um, for the next six months, halfway through the year? Where would you like to be at December 31st? Celebrating the, the, the coming in of 2020. Um, I will have lost more weight, be okay. even stronger, nice. and have more clarity okay. about how I'm going to set each intention after that. Okay. Because I kind of do have a little goal. Okay. And um, I, I want to be... I want to be a Spartan. I want to be my most fit self oh. so I can provide the best for my family. Sure. I like that. For my audience. For sure. And that's your why, right? Todd Williams yes. yesterday talked about the power of why. It's got to be a deep emotional why. And when the, your why is big enough, the how doesn't matter. Yeah. There's many ways to get fit, many ways to get lean, many ways to lose weight, many ways to get healthy. But if your why is big enough, like what is your why? Who, who needs you around um, over the next year? Who depends on you for their livelihood? Like, do you have a team? Do you have a family? Do you have a parent? Do you have a father? Do you have a spouse that needs you around? When you think of your why, like Simon Sinek says, the how shows up. Yeah. And then any way will get you there. And it's obviously it's consistency. Yeah. So I'm going to high five you. And so the next, 12, the next six months. Next six months. Next six months. Okay. Yeah. Live like Emmy. There yeah, you go. Yeah, have fun. Have a great day.